What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another, of course, Wife of Bell versus Aberdeen Asel versus the Bearded BHMs or Tarut versus Carl Oscar. Um, looking at it, you know, Carl Oscar is actually part of my team and uh, we are part of the Odin's Angels. So I have a very good idea of what it brought to the game and it was a very, very cool team for this Wife of Bell. However, it did have the wrong set of Machamp, which is a wrong ability. He did not have uh, no guard, he actually had guts. Which is something to keep in mind because it means dynamic punches might be a bit on the 50 50 side for real. That set of Daru has Mega Kangaskhan, Melodic, Mr. Mime, Silver Lee, uh, Miss Magius, and Umbreon. So, a bit on bulkier side with, of course, Umbreon and Melodic. However, we have offensive prowess in Miss Magius and Mr. Mime, so very interesting. And of course, one never know what Silver is. And Kangaskhan, the Mega Form, is very, very unpredictable. Um, Carl on the other hand has Okaberry, uh, Ferrothorn, uh, uh, Scarf Sylveon, uh, Curum Black with, or I mean, regular Curum with Fine Tune C, um, Mishamp with Assault Fest, I do believe, and uh, Mega Aerodactyl, which is just Mega Aerodactyl with Pursuit. In case of a Miss Major's comes, that would be always be, of course, really, really interesting. And of course, Mr. Mime is always in an area. And then we have Blissifion, which I think was Scarf in his Wife of Bell. I think he leveled around with a few ideas, but I don't know which one he settled for. So with this in mind, let's see how the game worked out. And I actually want to see how many turns this battle was, because the bulkier nature would say that this would be a longer game, since the route is a bit on the fat side for this Wife of Bell, so one might never know. So Big Mama is the one to start off with, that's the Kangaskhan, and um, very likely just go for the very very easy fake out, as we see Spike to Fremont Comedians. It's 40 turn battle, so like I said, it is on the bulkier side, it goes for actually for both, as Mega Kanga of course, Mega Wolves, and I expect him to have Fire Punch or Fire Blast, as we see Whirlpool. Now that's interesting, that means the Ferrothorn is locked in, as... Um, <laughs> get two times hits of that as we see retaliation in gyro ball and that should do decent actually and it does whirlpool does his recital damage very weird seeing a whirlpool animation i don't believe we've seen that ever as now we see the wish so it's a fat kangaskhan for generation three Def that's definitely what we can say as another gyro ball will of course connect and um, it looks like another gyro ball might actually ko the kangaskhan so that's very, very scary. As we go for flamethrower here, so the Akabar is gonna pop, which means that it will survive. I'm sure. Oh yeah, with with ease. And the second hit is gonna connect, and we are going to see another gyro ball. No, we see leads. Why? That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Not gonna lie. I think a gyro ball would have been an area of killing. However, I'm pretty sure another flamethrower won't KO either. How much HP? That's a lot of HP. That's definitely a lot of HP. Um, I mean, from here on out, just go for another <laughs> another flamethrower. Um, but unfortunately, didn't go for another Jarrah Ball. I am not sure whether or not it would KO. However, I think it was a missed opportunity. Flamethrower actually did KO, so that's really, really, really unfortunate. As we are going to see Amp Up comes in. Alright, Mishomp. So... Um, yeah, here comes the question. Did they directly go for the dynamic punch? I wonder. As Scylla comes in, nice nickname there. Goes for knockoff, knocking off the flame orb. No leftovers. All right, so no status. As uh, Scylla goes for a substitute. Hmm. Interesting. And here goes the dynamic punch, and it does connect. So at the moment we don't know whether or not it's actually is the no guard. But I said before he did brought the wrong one. And I feel that's really, really unfortunate for his side because it's just overall very, 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 very unfortunate to see. Um, I think it's going to matter to some extent in this game. As he goes for a knockoff again. Don't know why. Predicting the switch up possibly. Uh, missing the toxic. And here we see missing the dynamic punch. So here's where the world kind of settles down. It's the wrong set. That's... Ooh, it stinks. It stinks. And it stinks a lot. That's, um, holy banolas. <laughs> the thing is here, Mashamp becomes very unusable once you can't connect the dynamic punch because it means you have no more stab move to rely on. And Knockoff didn't even break the sub, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it does. It probably barely breaks the sub. 
and his only move was Toxic. Possibly, I could say Scald. So I guess he could go for the Guts and kind of get that boost with the Scald burn, I guess, at that best. Um, as we keep substituting. I think Carl made a really good choice here since Hyper Voice will break through. Um, I hope Darude is aware of that. I just want that easy Toxic. Possibly thinking this could be a bulkier set. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't risk that. Goes for Call Mind, actually. So, right, that means he's not Scarfed. Um, so, another a Hyper Voice should do very, very good damage here, however. Um, it should be a 2 hit kill at this point. No way he's taking that. Um, as he goes for a very safe recover. Um, it's always a fascinating to see when Pokemon have speeds. Like, Malolic is a, while it is a bulkier Pokemon, it's actually kind of speed at 81 base speed. That's, that's fairly scary to be honest and very hard to be dealing with when you build against a team like this. Um, now, Toxic should be start be whittling him down, so. Go for another call mine might be a bit on the bolsy side since we know we don't have heal bell. Um he switches out so you don't want to risk it. Almost good. Alright, it is Silver Lee. Silver Lee Steel it looks like. Um goes for another damn Carl getting greedy. <laughs> That's greedy. That's really greedy. So Hyper Voice might actually do 30%, I would say. Um, Silver Lee is very, very bulky, 95 base in everything, so no, it, it won't hurt as much as he's not going to risk it, I'm going to switch out, so what, what were all those, what were all those coal mines for? Uh, goes for multi-attack, multi-attack steel most likely, um, which will be neutral, and I believe, I believe the Scylla is going to come back in, so it's actually really unfortunate because at this point Machamp is dead weight and uh, there is really nothing Carl can do since they lost the Farrah of course, but also I don't believe the others works too well with this in mind as he goes for a Skull here, I really really hope he gets the burn so the damage starts coming in, but at this point he definitely needs to switch out because uh, he can easily set this up here which he does, of course. There's no way going around it. Missed the damage punch. Um, it probably matter in the sense that he misses them to break the sub, but outside of that, it doesn't necessarily matter. As uh, burn gods are not active, and the knockoff, as stated before, will probably not break the sub now because of the minus one. So at this point, I, I'm thinking Sax to Mashop is what he, I think he's trying to do in that and get some lead way here, but I'll definitely just switch in my Sylveon from this point and baiting out the Sylvelli. Um because this does not look good, definitely looks like a heavy, heavily checked uh, defensive team here, which it, it never looks good. It looks terrible to see this happening, as uh, yet again we don't see the burn. And this also means that he has to go for just a skull kill here and Mashop is out. So real unfortunate that, as I said before, that this was not the no guard set because that would have been immensely helpful towards Carl. Instead, it comes to be pretty much a dead weight of the team. As the blue beast comes in, at this point, I would say that it probably switch out directly to Silver Lee. Um, and I wonder whether or not he goes for Call Mine or Attack again. I probably would attack him off him, but I would wish to get a free switch in. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I wonder if Blazifion is equipment that comes in there. Either way is fine, but uh, yeah, I wonder. I'm definitely thinking what could be the idle play as he actually stays in. Hmm. Interesting, interesting indeed. To Big Mama. Alright. And that Pokemon also can pass wishes, so that's always going to be a thing here. Um, goes to Call Mind, nothing to it. And. Uh, so we're down the line, I kind of hope that um, the opening, uh, that some kind of opening comes to Carl, because at this point, it looks, it looks tough. It looks damn tough, to be honest. Um, sends out damage, right? Cure in black. I guess that's the right nickname, too. And I'm pretty sure this one is fine to see. As we see frustration, hmm. it's up there. It's definitely up there. 
he's gonna switch out the Big Mama, probably go to Scylla. Don't assume the Miss Majors. Did he go for the C move? Oh dear god, this is gonna look very, 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 very good. Um, Daru definitely made a good choice there. Um, I can't say anything else, but that it was checked. That was that was a good play from Daru. So here goes a Mystical Fire. If I remember, it got that this generation because I sure as hell did it when I saw it now. Um, Releases special attack and ice beam should do just about nope. Hmm. It looks tough already. However, I'm pretty sure Mira and Axel can catch this thing when it switches out off guard and actually catch catch with the pursuit. So while Kieran Black is gone, I'll definitely say that the rain of fire was probably not the ideal switch in. Though, however, it will also work. Um, double switch to frame. <clears throat> All right. I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> Alright, that works too. Definitely Pawn was going to try to pursue Trampin. As Annoying comes in, and I'll say. Um, switches out Annoying, as I'm pretty sure that um, he will try to go for a Horn Claw here. I really hope he decided to um, carry Fire Punch or a Fire Fang with his spell. However, I'm pretty sure Silver Lee can take that. Is whether he takes two. Which is the more important one, as we see the Horn Claw. Uh, my bets are on Aerodactyl because it's so awesome. Come on. Have the Fire Fang. Have the Fire Fang. Has Earthquake. Alright. Alright. I wonder. This should be defensive. Ooh! It's there, though. It's there. Molt Attack. How much will that do? It's Steel, after all. It did alright. It definitely did alright. Um, he's still gonna sack Sylvia, I'm sure. No reason keeping it, even though Sylvian is still a threat, it's not a threat that can't win. And Blissifion is not a threat towards the road, unless he loses uh, the Scylla. Um, I wouldn't go for Stone Edge here. Get the damage. Get the damage. Mm. Oh, dear god. Tell you guys, make our deck a threat. Ah, that was unexpected. Alright, so Mr. Meme comes. This could very well be Scarfed. Uh, I'll definitely would have switched out. Oh, right there, Psychic. There we go, Frantic is gone. Um, oh, that's unfortunate, though. I'm pretty sure Rain of Fire can start spamming Fire Blasts. And that should do decent. Um, right, it switches that out. Um, too annoying, and it sure is. I wonder how much a fire blast will do. Actually, flamethrower, so not as threatening. It still did alright. Um, I can't remember. Ooh, it has pursuit. Yeah, that's how that looks like. That's oh, that's terrible. Never thought I'd see today an Umbreon do that. All right, <laughs> so Blue Beast is Carl's last Pokemon, and there really aren't that many turns left. And it should have come to a surprise here that yeah. Um, Carl loses to Darud here, and it is a very tough loss, I think, because we don't necessarily get a fair uh, outlook on how this game really should have looked if um, the Machamp was the right set. And uh, for what it's worth, I think that's tough to kind of look at the game and say, oh, Darud outplayed Carl, because I don't think that's it. Uh, oh, dear God, okay, soundproof. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Darude really was in the game here. Um, like I said before, um, I'm pretty sure Machamp would have been a ferocious threat uh, towards um, towards Darude's team, mainly because Dynamic Punch, Bullet Punch, and uh, Knock Off. All of these move hits home and do very, very good damage. And with the support from Sylveon with Wish, I think it would have been able to do a lot more than it actually did due to misses and, you know, having the wrong ability. And I think also, I think the one big misplay, and I actually think it is a misplay, is that Carl, don't go for another jar ball when it goes through Wish. Uh, consider the damage output, I'll definitely say it was in range of getting knocked out with a jar ball, and even if it wasn't, it still would have been a lot lower than it ended up being, and I think... Having the Kangas gone and possibly active due to it made the game a lot tougher for Carl. 
and um, yet all I can say is that I think it was a missed opportunity considering the matchup he was facing. Uh, Silva still wants to be expected with his wife for Bell, and um, I definitely think it couldn't deal it with Machamp either. I actually think the only Pokemon that couldn't deal with Machamp properly was Malorik, and it wasn't doing that all right. And um, yeah, I just think it's unfortunate. I definitely believe that had Machamp been the right set, would have been a much different game. Uh, also, of course, missing out on Pursuit versus Miss Mages was unfortunate with Mega Aerodactyl. I think it would have been a stronger, overall stronger play on a missed opportunity. Uh, Cure in Black falling early. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely say, had he got the right damage on the Kangas Khan, it would have been much better go for an Ice Beam than uh, C Focus Blast versus it. At the time being, I think C Focus Blast was the right play, uh, considering the amount of HP that the big Mama Kangas Khan was at. So, with all this said, yeah, the route is a fair winner here. I definitely believe he outplayed Carl, but I only did that because Carl didn't have the right sets. I think that frustrated him a whole lot, or not the right set, but the right, the wrong ability on the shop. And I think that didn't allow him to get into the game because he just fall behind very early with a Pokemon that could deal very well with the route's team. And I know that feeling, you just give up on a game even though you have a semi-okay chance. But at the point, I definitely would have just probably gave up myself because you you feel frustrated you can't focus because you're so frustrated with yourself and i think carl got in that area and just you know be done with it i finished the game and you know give it another go next time so i think that was what it's going to do uh so that's it guys thank you for watching and darude and carl gg to both of you and of course like i said it, unfortunately with carl side but also darude very well played here definitely not going to take anything away from you you did really good and um, i think that's the most important part when you're looking about these wife of elves so yeah as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next upload until then take care